And so the degradation of Wonder Woman's character continues with DC's Wonder Women of history that will feature real-world heroes. Yet another comic book that nobody asked for but we're going to get anyway, and if anybody criticizes it or doesn't like it, the usual barrage of buzzwords will follow. But this can't possibly be bad, can it? The graphic novel will present tales of the real-world heroes who take up Diana's mantle and work in the fields of science, social justice, activism, diplomacy, and more. And judging by this panel, the tone is already set. The lasso compels truth, but it can't stop mansplaining. Anybody who knows the character of Wonder Woman reasonably well will understand that mansplaining is not a word in her vocabulary. Not only is she the embodiment of female physical perfection, she's one of the best warriors on earth and she can fight toe to toe with the best of them. She's also the ambassador of her people and their princess. And if you ever needed a quick summary of Wonder Woman's character, you can get it from the Justice League animated series episode called Fury, in which an Amazon named Aresia decides to destroy all men because she has horribly misunderstood the Amazon ideology. To sum up the episode, Arisha makes a plague that only affects men, and she effectively destroys half of human society. In this episode, by the way, women are portrayed as strong and powerful, and they do everything they can in order to keep society from falling apart, including fighting fires and giving medical attention to those who need it the most. And in this episode, Hippolyta, Diana's mother and queen of the Amazons, makes an appearance, explaining to Arisha that she misunderstood things very, very badly. As it turns out, Arisha herself is not a natural-born Amazon. She was imbued with the power of the Amazons after she was shipwrecked on the island. An island that is solely inhabited by the Amazons and that men are prohibited from stepping foot upon. Amazons value these laws so much that in the animated series, Diana was banished from Themyscira because when the Amazons were about to be destroyed, she brought the Justice League on board including Batman and the rest, who are, of course, male. So the Amazons are pretty strict about their laws. Which makes this next part even more interesting and powerful. You see, Aresia washed up after a shipwreck on the island. However, she didn't do so alone. It was the captain of the ship who helped her stay afloat and made sure with his dying breath that she reached shore. This touched Hippolyta so much that she buried the man in an unmarked grave on Themyscira and he is the only man ever buried on the island. So you see, when I look at a panel like this, it kind of feels out of character. And when you look at things like this, you can understand why Keanu Reeves managed to make $350,000 in a day when he kickstarted his comic book. And looking at that list, really? This is your choice for Wonder Woman of history? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? an American politician that the rest of the world doesn't care about and that has pretty much done nothing of note except propose a ludicrous radical change of society that is practically impossible to implement and cost the city of New York a lot of money when she chased away Amazon. And Serena Williams, a professional tennis player who threw a massive hissy fit after she was called out for cheating during one of the biggest tournaments in the world then she destroyed her racket on the court, which is a punishable offense in tennis, so the umpire called her out on that as well, and later she proceeded to verbally berate and abuse said umpire by calling him a thief and a liar, and she had a game loss for it. And yes, afterwards she played the race card and the woman card, claiming that she fights for all women, which was absolute BS because she was fighting only for herself. I watched the whole thing, and basically she comes out as a massive bully. And the whole she's fighting for whole women part was even funnier when you take into account that during that same championship, she made her opponent, Naomi Osaka, which played circles around her, by the way, cry. To the point where Naomi Osaka had to apologize to Serena Williams. And the best part? Naomi Osaka is half Asian and half black. And of course, it was stated that if this was a man, this wouldn't have happened. So, I got curious and looky what I found. The New York Times compiled a list of fines received by gender between 1998-2018 at the four major tennis Grand Slam tournaments. Awkward. Moving on. You know, looking at that list, I asked myself, why didn't you mention Marie Curie? 
To those of you who don't know, Marie Curie is a French scientist of Polish origin who did some pretty remarkable stuff. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person to win two Nobel Prizes, and the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two scientific fields. She was also the first woman to become a professor at the University of Paris. And amongst her other achievements, during World War I, she figured out that it was good for soldiers to receive treatment pretty much immediately, so she basically discovered a portable x-ray machine. Oh, and speaking of achievements, she also discovered elements, you know, those things on the periodic table, and when you look at it, there's not that many of them. Yeah, well, she discovered two. And during all of that, she managed to have two kids. Why are you focusing on a failed American politician that contributed basically nothing and a bully? And speaking of failed American politicians, this is a comment that I just had to add from Bob. AOC's chapter will center on her efforts to defund the Justice League, all based on her being triggered by Diana's visit to the Empire State after everything AOC had done to make sure there'd never be an Amazon in New York. Oh my god. And if you ever wonder why mainstream comics are going down the drain while crowdfunded projects are flying through the roof, on one side you have this, on the other side you have this. The lasso compels truth, but it can't stop. Oh, blow it out your ass!